actually play this game. For me, Mario 2 is the Japanese version. You know, the one with the poison mushroom and the insane difficulty level. Pretty sure I need to get up there. Damn it, why can't I get up there? Wait, maybe there is something written about this in uh, Nintendo Power. Let's see, Mario 2, page 6. Hmm, a crouching jump. Oh, alright! Just like their motto says, now we're having fun with strength. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyway, guys. This introduction was a way to show off a new feature in Memory Rift, magazines. And when I say magazines, I really mean publications, because it can be anything. Game manuals, sticker albums, even books. As you can see, I can flip through the pages simply by holding a keyboard key and swiping left and right with a mouse. This lets me flip through pages while still enables me to move the magazine around. And, I can also hold the magazine up with one hand and use two keyboard keys to flip through the pages. Adding a magazine is as simple as dumping all the scanned pages into a folder. And Memory Rift uses those to create a complete magazine with only three virtual pages. It does this by replacing the images on the virtual pages when you flip them to create a seamless magazine that only uses up six images worth of memory. So, Two magazines are nice and all, but how about 260 at the same time? That's a lot of reading material if you need to go to the bathroom for a while. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and for the great comments and interest. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as to the website linked in the description if you want to keep up to date.